Welcome to every fact ever. Like and subscribe for more amazing facts. This is 50 facts about Abraham Lincoln. Fact number one. He's not only a good president, but he's also an inventor. He invented a device to free steamboats from running aground, but it never got manufactured. In doing so, he became the only president to receive a patent. Fact number two. Although he was a great statesman, he didn't have a degree. Lincoln only had 18 months of formal schooling. Much of his knowledge came from his love of learning. A lack of a degree didn't prevent him from practicing the law. Fact number three. He was an advocate of gender equality. He expressed a desire for women to have the vote, mentioned as early as 1836. It took nearly a century before this happened though, and he was not alive to witness it. Fact number four. He was a huge animal lover. He loved animals so much that he never engaged in hunting or fishing activities. He once rescued a pig who was stuck in the mud. Fact number five. He was a wrestler. No, he didn't wear a cape and mask to hide his identity. There are plenty of records and documents of him fighting. He joined around 300 matches and lost one. He was a great wrestler at that time. Fact number six, to be in the higher office. In 1856, he lost his vice presidential bid in a republic convention. This was mainly because he was unpopular, but it gave him the necessary time to prepare for his comeback. Fact number seven, he was never a member of any organized church. Lincoln was a very faithful man. He would read the Bible every day and use his teaching to guide his decisions. However, there were no records indicating that he joined any church or any photo of him regularly attending one. Fact number eight, he had no vices, something that his wife appreciated. He didn't drink or smoke. He was a simple man with simple tastes. In the White House, he was known for never touching a single alcoholic drink during his entire presidency. Fact number nine. He didn't have a middle name. All of his life, he only used two names, Abram Lincoln. Even in the official White House papers, you won't find a middle name. Fact number 10. Never to be called Abe. He hated that name. He informed everybody working for him to never call him that abbreviation. He preferred to be called by his last name, Lincoln. Fact number 11. We should thank Lincoln for Thanksgiving Day. It was first celebrated in the middle of the American Civil War in 1863. After that, it was celebrated yearly, all thanks to Lincoln's attempt to unite the country. Fact number 12. He set up important departments in the country that we still have today. He initiated the national banking system and was also the one who pushed for the creation of the Department of Agriculture. Fact number 13. He loved his pets so much that they were treated as part of the president's family. His cat ate with them at the White House at the dinner table and his dog named Fido and his cat was named Tabby. Fact number 14. He had simple favourite foods. He loved eating oysters so much in the White House that when travelling they became part of his official office business. Fruits were always served during his meals as he also loved to eat them too. Fact number 15. He was the first president to use the telegraph. The telegraph was used to send messages across vast distances. He used this communication with his generals to give instructions. Fact number 16. Lincoln had a complicated relationship with his parents. At the young age of nine, he lost his mother to milk poisoning, and he was also estranged from his father, refusing to attend his father's funeral. Fact number 17. He suffered several losses in his life, which made him a better decision maker and a greater president. The first business openly failed miserably. He was forced to shut it down. He also argued a case in front of the Supreme Court in 1849 and lost. Fact number 18. Before he became the president, he had less than a stellar career in politics. He only served one term as a member of Congress. He then ran for the Senate twice, 
losing on both occasions. Fact number 19. He was the first president to be assassinated. He was shot on April 14th, 1865. By an actor he was a huge fan of, John Wykes Booth. His death caused an uproar because it was unexpected and he was loved by many. Fact number 20. His pets also suffered tragedy. His cat died in a fire in the White House. A year after his assassination, his dog was assassinated by a drunk assailant. Fact number 21. He was one of the most fashionable presidents. He always wore a hat. He used it to hide his most important documents. He was also the first president to have a beard. Fact number 22. Although he had no law degree, he was still a well-known lawyer at the time. He defended the son of a famous wrestling opponent against murder charges. He also became a judge on the circuit court in Illinois. Fact number 23. He could be considered as a jack of all trades. Throughout his life, he engaged in several activities aside from his law and political career. He was a licensed bartender, a postmaster and even a general store owner. Fact number 24. Because of him, the US Secret Service was formed. The idea at first wasn't to protect the president, but to serve as countermeasures to the rampant counterfeiting at the time. He was the first president to die, even though he had his own secret service. Fact number 25. At six foot four, he was the tallest president to ever serve in the US. He wore the biggest shoes of all the presidents at size 14, his huge build meant that he needed bespoke suits, made by the Brooks Brothers. Fact number 26. Due to his tragic childhood, he suffered from depression for the majority of his life. He avoided carrying or even touching knives, because he thought that he might misuse them on himself. He actually dreamt of being assassinated before his assassination. Fact number 27. There is no doubt up until now he was one of the most popular presidents of the United States. His assassination is still one of the hottest topics in history and politics. He also has more books written about him than any other American. Fact number 28. His wife was a known opium addict. He married his then 23-year-old wife in 1842. At the age of 63, she passed away. She was still the first lady of America when she died. Fact number 29. His coffin was moved 17 times and opened on five occasions. There have been numerous attempts to rob his grave throughout the years, which is why it was constantly moved around and checked. There was even a gang in Chicago who tried to steal his body and ask for $200,000 in ransom. Fact number 30. Although his plan seemed fair, they were sometimes contradictory. He believed in fairness, so he pushed for the slaves to have a wage but he still believed that they did not deserve to vote, be in a jury, or to marry a white person. Fact number 31. He was regarded as one of the greatest public speakers in history. One of his famous speeches was so powerful that the reporters present stopped taking notes just to listen. It was then known as the lost speech, as there were no official records of what he said. Fact number 32. He was also well known for his humour during speeches. This was evident in debates where he would always use self-deprecating humour to engage the audience. He was once accused of having two faces. He retorted, if I had had two faces, wouldn't I be showing my other face? Fact number 33. His son, Robert Lincoln, seemed to be a magnet of assassination events. Aside from witnessing his own father's assassination, he was also present during the assassination of James Garfield. Although he didn't witness the event, he was in the same location when President William McKinley was assassinated. Fact number 34. He almost participated in a duel with a Democrat politician in 1842. He was given the power to choose a weapon and he chose a broadsword, doing so because of the huge reach of that particular weapon would give him, thus providing him with the advantage. His opponent withdrew moments before the duel because he saw that Lincoln was good at using a sword. Fact number 35. He has some connection with famous people today. He has no living direct descendants today, 
but has some connections to actors Tom Hanks and George Clooney. Fact number 36. President Teddy Roosevelt was a huge fan of Abraham Lincoln. In fact, he was present during the burial of President Lincoln. Then the six-year-old Teddy Roosevelt was photographed along with thousands of other mourners who witnessed President Lincoln's burial. Fact number 37. He once jumped out of a building to avoid a vote. The Democratic Party was trying to remove Illinois State Bank, but they didn't have sufficient numbers to do this. To rectify the issue, the Democrats gathered political voters into a room, locked the doors and forced the voters to vote. This forced Lincoln and other Republicans who didn't want to vote to jump out of the window to escape. Fact number 38. There could have been wild elephants in the United States. The then King of Slam offered to give the United States government several pairs of wild elephants. As an animal advocate, Lincoln turned down the offer, saying that the US environment and the climate was not acceptable for the elephants to grow and live. Fact number 39. Although he was extremely popular, he was also said to be subjugated to a lot of public mudslinging. During his two presidential campaigns in 1860 and 1864, his opponents used a lot of name-calling at public events. It was called yo Idiot, and the original griller by his opponents and detractors. Fact number 40. He was a well-known orator. He was so good that his 273-word Gettysburg Address was one of the most famous speeches he ever gave. But an interesting fact was, he wasn't actually supposed to give a speech that day. He was only asked for a few words, hence the famous 273-word speech. Fact number 41. He was also known for comebacks when politicians berated him. During one of his political debates in 1864 against Peter Cartwright, he was attacked for having no religion. He was asked by Cartwright, if you didn't want to go to heaven or hell, where do you intend to go? To which Lincoln replied, to Congress. Fact number 42. He is one of the top US presidents. Politicians and historians rank him as the greatest president of all time. When it comes to the practice of law and being a statesman, he was placed second behind George Washington. Fact number 43. He ordered the largest mass execution in the history of the US. In 1862, he ordered the execution of 38 Dakota Native Americans through hanging. This was in contrast to his treatment of Confederate generals who were spared from executions, although 400,000 Union soldiers died because of them. Fact number 44. Prime Minister Winston Churchill claimed to have seen his ghost. During the Second World War, Prime Minister Winston Churchill woke up in the middle of the night to be greeted by the ghost of Lincoln. Nothing interesting happened. He only smiled and vanished, but Churchill refused to stay in that bedroom after the episode. Fact number 45. He technically ended slavery. In 1863, he signed an executive order changing the status of thousands of slaves in the country. This order was the reason for the passage of the 13th Amendment in 1865, banning slavery all over the country. Fact number 46. There was a town in Illinois named after him, even before he became the president. In 1863, he attended a christening in the town that was using his name. He graced the event by cracking two watermelons. This resulted in the whole event being named the Watermelon Christening. Fact number 47. He established the first ever air force in the country. This was known as the balloon force. He suggested that hot air balloons could be used against the Confederate forces. It was so unsuccessful that it was dismantled even before the war finished. Fact number 48. Even if Lincoln was assassinated today, modern science would not be able to reverse many of the issues caused by his assassination. Doctors today might be able to save his life, but he would have remained in a vegetative state he would likely suffer from permanent damage, paralysis all over his body, and difficulty speaking and writing. This would prevent him from completing his presidential duties. Fact number 49. His short stint as a bartender was often a source of humorous attacks against him. He built his first bar with a friend. It was known as Berries and Lincoln. It was closed due to mounting debts. It was always used against him. People would call him an inefficient manager and said that he probably had an alcohol problem, although he avoided drinking. Fact number 50. 
he had a lousy security guard. The guard assigned to him once left him alone to go and have a drink in the pub. Coincidentally, he bumped into John Wikes there, the assassin who took Lincoln's life. This guard had a long history of neglect during duty, but he wasn't fired after the assassination. It took several years before he was let go. And that's 50 facts about Abraham Lincoln. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more amazing facts.